Hi guys. Welcome to Kimberly Speaks. It's me, Kimberly. Um, I wanted to come to you today and make a confession. <laughs> and uh, because I really believe that to be a good leader, you have to practice what you preach. And um, I ask my clients to take time to take care of themselves. I ask my clients to get quiet um, and tune into God. I ask my clients to um, challenge themselves and push themselves farther than they've been. I'm really good at the challenging part. I will push myself and push myself and push myself to reach goals, but that comes at the expense of some other things. So this month I started um, with a company for fun because uh, I love jewelry and girly things. Um, I started being a stylist for Stella and Dot and it's been a blast been super fun and um, I've been able to maintain and juggle everything I need to do everywhere I need to be um, been able to be fully present for my clients I would never compromise that um, that's just sacred space to me um, which is a funny word because what I'm compromising is sacred space with God so I just wanted to come and let you know that I get the struggle and I'm in it too. And uh, I, the thing I've dropped the ball on is quiet time with God. And I've dropped the ball on that for a very long time. I'm good at it. Um, like good at it. I don't mean like a good girl. Um, I'm good at prioritizing it is a better way of putting it. Um, and then I get busy and drop the ball again. So I'm going to be publicly accountable to you guys. One thing I need to do is take some time and put my phone in timeout because I am like, um, I guess I'm like somebody who's drunk at a bar. I can't just be at the bar and not drink. Um, when I'm around my phone, I can't just set it down and not look at it. So <laughs> I'm going to be putting my phone in timeout at times during the day. I can check messages later. People don't know, don't need to get, you know, I don't need to get back to people within 10 seconds. Um, <laughs> and I am going to be spending quiet time with God. Um, for me, what works is doing um, praying and then reading the Bible until I just get quiet. It settles me down. Um, that may not work for everybody, but that's what works for me. And then reflecting by doing some art journaling. And yeah, I've done it a few times here and there in the last month, but I really need to be doing this on a daily basis. And, um, you can probably see the bags under my eyes. I'm a little tired. I'm worn out. And, um, that's not life's fault. That's my fault. <laughs> um, so our strengths can sometimes become our weaknesses and my strength of tenacity and ambition and excitement and enthusiasm and loving to achieve goals and um, doing new things and uh, facing down what scares me um, has been great. Um, and I've, um, I've hit a lot of goals and faced a lot of fears. So there's growth there, but I can't continue to grow without I guess what you'd call the fertilizer I can't what what really makes me grow and grow well is my time with God so I am going to commit to you guys here publicly that I'm going to be spending time with God daily and um I just wanted you to know that um as your mentor um and as someone who uh, wants to connect with you, whether it's on Facebook or as a client or however we connect um, as a friend. Um, I just wanted to be uh, vulnerable and visible 
so that you know who I am and that I struggle too and that we're in this together and that there's no shame. We don't need to have shame about um, where we fall down. We just need to pick back up and go again.